guys it's your boy young guy and welcome once again to this channel now i know we all have heard the presidential speech that took place you know earlier this morning as announced that the president will be addressing the nation as regarding the ongoing protests now it's shocking you know to see that the issues were not addressed you know and for a fact it was a pre-recorded speech you know that was broadcasted you know this morning earlier this morning now which begs to question you know the concept of presidential system of government you know we copy the presidential system of government from america whereby you know the system of governors is a presidential type you know unlike the one that was used in 1963 when nigeria gained independence 1960 up to 1963 was the parliamentary system of government where we have the prime minister the president and or what have you now nigeria copied the presidential system of government from america in particular now the truth of the matter is that they are not you know following the footsteps or doing what the presidential system of government entails now let's take america as a case study. the video of president obama addressing the press and also president Trump. President that's been in America. Now, there are rooms for questioning and answering even the sitting president. Now, whenever they call for a press conference, they gather the press conference. And whenever a question is being asked, you see the broadcaster, you see whoever is asking the question, and you see the president reacting you know, to the particular question that was asked. But why is it that in the case of Nigeria presidential system of government, the president is never you know, in a confined environment with the broadcasters or the newscasters, you know, to ask questions whereby they can respond. This begs to question their credibility. Because if there is nothing to hide, if they were up and doing, if they are doing something good, regardless of whatever it is, they should be open to conversation between them and the press, you know, who in the form represents the people. Because whatever you see out there comes, you know, from broadcasting, from the press and all that, and they ask series of questions pertaining to, you know, the lifestyle, daily living of how the society runs. Now, the moment you see the presidential drilling of the American president, then sometimes you wonder, is he really a president? Because the kind of questions they ask, you know, they ask this question without fear of bias, you know, to whoever is the president in the American system of government. But when it comes to Nigeria's system of government, there are two things either it is pre recorded or you know they present the questions beforehand that way they will go through all the questions to see the one that is accepted the one that will not maybe incite you know or some questions that the president will not be able to answer a profound solution or profound answer to you know that has been the presidential system of government especially in nigeria you know we had a previous president he never granted any press interviews if he ever did was recorded or rather scripted you know interviews with the press now we see the chaos going on in nigeria the president is supposed to come and address the people open himself to questioning so that they can question you know his reforms and all the things he has you know stated that he has done he has to defend them and these questions have been thrown to them by the press but you discover that they shy away from the press because they don't want to answer questions because what they say they do they never did now the president came out you know to address the nation but still failed to address the main reason why the people came out you know for the protest they talked about forced subsidy of which we all know forced subsidy is an organized scam in the nigerian states you know bring down the price of fuel bring down the price of fuel and every other commodities you know the prices will drop dramatically that was not addressed you know the high cost of governance was not even addressed that the people we are agitating for you know because the cost of governance in the nigerian system in the country where they proclaim or they claim there is no funds no finance no money in particular yet you know the the, the government live extra large and yet they keep telling the people you know the citizens to make sacrifice and also the electoral reforms that we are also presented you know as some of the the, the, the protest you know agendas or the protest criteria that the presidency needs to you know look into was the electoral reform it wasn't even talked about it wasn't talked about so the infrastructure you know the hunger elevation these things were not even talked about you know extensively that is why it's supposed to be a press interview where the press will have to drill him on his reforms and the measures he has taken the evidence that needs to back up these claims you know, what we keep hearing is talking about you know 
uh, what's it called student loan in a country whereby there is no industries you know to provide jobs for these people who, who take these loans to be able to repay them back in a country where graduates will have to come out from you know their tertiary institutions and then seek to learn skills and start fending from the, for themselves with little or no effort from the government now the student loan in the nigerian setting is not something to even consider rather subsidizing education is much more better than creating student loan whereby you will now put you know an impoverished nation into more indebtedness you know with a scheme of loans so it is heartbreaking that the president had to do a recorded speech you know evading the questions and the plight of the people so many reforms were made but the question will be how effective are these reforms you know if the reforms were good enough it would reflect now you talk about removal of forest subsidy that way there will be enough finance to cater for maybe healthcare education which is on a zero level healthcare which is on a zero level if you don't have your your funds or your money to deposit you might likely not able to make it through the night in the nigerian healthcare system because the abandonment of the healthcare system you know people only live by grace and those who have money are able to finance you know their healthcare bills and all that so you talk about healthcare you talk about education these things are something that is supposed to be sudden and urgent but it doesn't address the problem of the people it doesn't address the problem of the people you know, the president needs to sit down and you know instead of reading a scripted message should sit down and start thinking of how to do the job because he requested for the job and there should be no excuse whatsoever for him not to deliver on the job so these are some of the things that have been going on and the people are still angry because the speech only made them angry the more because people were asking what was the president saying it's different from what we are even requesting for